Hour one, we're Carl. just taking off here. We're uh, going dam to dam, 80 mile trip. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna go from dam to dam, or that's what we call it, dam to dam. But we're on the Snake River in the western part of Wyoming. And we're going from Jackson Lake Dam, down the Snake River, through the Teton Valley, into the Snake River Canyon. And we're gonna take out there before the Palisades. Basically, we have to spend all 12 hours on the raft moving with very minimum stops. In this video, we'll just go hour by hour and I'll kind of point out where we are on that hour and whatever extraneous information goes along with that. And then the rest of it will just be us goofing around on the boat. So if you're into that, check it out. Thanks guys. First hour. So it's 6.25 right now. Officially been two miles on the river. Good start. Saw some wildlife. Shut Not bad start to damn to damn. If you keep talking for the next 12 hours. We saw a beaver. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Beaver! The beaver is a large, primarily nocturnal, semi-aquatic rodent. Oh my god, look at that! Dude, the sun! It's already so high. Howdy! Yeah! <laughs> During this part of the day, it's going to be fairly cold. Make sure you dress warm. You're also going to pass the Oxbow, which is the most wildlife-rich area in the entire park. This water is uh, three. Dude, right in a fucking tree. Oh. Ah. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. Hour less than cool. one. Wild daughter, what? Whoa, it's getting oh risky God. out here. Is this going to get any more exciting? <laughs> Holy ah. crap. You want a beer roll? We all want a roll. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, jump in the water! You're like, what? <laughs> we got some Pacific Creek coming in here. This is hour two. At the beginning of hour two, you're gonna see Pacific Creek and the Buffalo Fork come into the Snake River. You can see the brown water from the natural runoff. In between the two, there's a boat ramp where we're gonna be picking up our last passenger. Wow, Sorry. we're out here. These guys are up at the crack of dawn. They're trying to get the best water out there. We got it all first. <laughs> our way. <laughs> Howdy. Okay, this is now officially the second hour. Officially yep. the second hour of our 12 plus hour float. Okay. We're waiting for a passenger. Hey, see a dude with a canoe. Sorry, welcome Sorry. aboard. Oh yeah, folks. Oh. Morning, folks. Uh, I think we're gonna make it. We're like back on the ribbon. Right there. Ah. We're not eyes on that ball, it's right there. Alright, football down there. <laughs> Alright, Carl. We lost the ball. Oh, there he goes. There's the football. See ya. See you later. Oh my god, we're doing it. We got men down. Get it. Get it. Alright, guys. Well, basically, he threw it to me, and I missed it. And now it's in the river. Oh, oh don't. <laughs> set, out, set. All right, ready? Gonna catch it this time? Oh. Oh. All skate, baby. Valley High School 2009. Tigers. That was the most running I'm doing the rest of the day. All right, so. Hour two. Started off with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new member. We got a new, new member. We got the football <laughs> back. In spite of the durability of rock walled canyons, surging power of cataracting water. The Wild River is a fragile thing, the most fragile portion of the wilderness country. Quote by John Craighead. We're currently experiencing there's a moon rise, uh, sun rise. There's also uh, some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, mountains out there on the horizon. Can we make it a wee? Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Let's like do the middle first. All right, second hour. Howdy. What are we doing? We're still rafting. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this gonna be all we do today? Yeah. It's scenic really scenic boring. We can't even get off the, the raft. We're on the scenic stretch. That's yeah. an a roll yeah. right there. At least it's Why do they call it that? Well, they call it the scenic stretch because of how good your guide looks while he's rowing. J boy. Howdy. <laughs> he's looking good. No, he's not. Oh, God, it's your ride. What's your favorite part so far? <laughs> I don't know. Beaver. The beaver. Oh, the beaver. The beaver was nice. Beaver. Beaver. And then 
Well, we had to stop for the uh, necessary restroom break. And uh, that is our competition that just passed us. So I'm screwed. When you're outside all day, it's important to drink a lot of water, so bring a large jug for the group. Then you can fill up your personal containers. Also, put on lots of sunscreen. Well, maybe that's a little too much. We're putting it on for the first time right now because the sun has finally reached a critical angle where it's going to start damaging your skin. It's kind of difficult when you're holding a camera. Anyway, rub that stuff in because it's going to keep your silky smooth complexion looking young. Uh -huh. Hour three! The conflict, like my internal, it's all out. I'm forward! I've had so much fun. I don't know. A couple hours. Nine more hours! Nine more hours! Nine plus because of the yeah. slow ass water. Nine more hours. Nine more hours of this. Hour three, baby! Hour three! We call this dam to dam. Considering that you'll be out here on the water for 12 straight hours, some of the crew may want to close their eyes, take a nap, and recharge their batteries. For those of you who are less capable, or if you don't own a raft, I suggest hiring a professional guide. My recommendation is that you hire the rafting company Barker Ewing. I'll leave a link in the description. This is the scenic trip. I don't care. It's a Just passing Dead Man's. All right, we've been on the river for 10 miles since we left Pacific Creek, and the next boat ramp we're gonna get to is Dead Man's, which is only a short distance away from the famous Ansel Adams parking outlook. Ansel Adams. <laughs> I'm just here to row boats. I do my best keeping the boat in the current on the water. Hour four? Yep. Oh, we totally slept for half an hour. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Howdy. Hi. Howdy. I'm momenting. I like them titties. This is that view. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. That's the view, right? Good for you guys. White water came out of nowhere. I'm awake now. It's trainer. All right, we're in hour four, and at this point in the trip, you want to be very careful because the rivers come up so much it runs through the forest. You have to choose the right channel, or you could run into a strainer. Why do we went that way? No, that's not where Hunter took us. This is exciting. Definitely ready to party. A strainer is a tree that's fallen into the river and blocks the path of the boat. We did encounter one right here in the river, and it took everyone's effort to avoid it, so there's no film. <laughs> we survived the river wide strainers. Woo! You'll see the bald eagle. The bald eagle is a bird of prey found in North America. It is an opportunistic feeder which subsides mainly on fish. It is also the national bird of the United States of America. That's my favorite tree in the park. Rafting this section of the Snake River in Grand Teton National Park is one of the most beautiful sections of rafting in the entire world. You'll be able to spend valuable time with your friends, making laughter and merriment, memories that will last a lifetime. Keep your eyes up and bring a camera, as you'll see the Teton mountain range draped across the horizon, glistening with winter snow as the valley becomes green and comes to life in the early spring. Whoa! Savannah banger. I'm 
totally licensed to use this music. Sick. Let's go back. Ah, nice. That's sick. Always keep your oars in the water. Stay in the current. Never eddy out. Avoid trees. There's lots of them. Hey! <laughs> Although you won't have very many opportunities to stop during Dam to Dam, it is nice every now and then to get on shore and stretch your legs a bit and get that blood pumping. You want to be careful when exiting the craft though because you could encounter deep mud. You also want to protect your feet because it would be a shame to hurt your foot on a rock or a stick and spend the rest of the day suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Careful out there, folks. Yeah, man, Dan and Dan's always a huge party. Everyone gets here and it's super stoked, man. The vibes are through the roof. It's just like an all you can do fucking party, man. Yeah, check it out. Sweet little baby. Partying. The boys and girls just don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Some Do people reach. say that cucumbers taste better pickled. But Do they? Recent studies confirm that the majority of people enjoy cucumbers better after a salty brine is applied, known as pickling. Grand Theft Auto. Those guys are paragliding. Paragliding is a recreational sport using lightweight, free flying, foot launch glider aircraft with no rigid primary structure. What hour is it? Am I recording? I think yeah. it's six. It's a uh, second wind, <laughs> hour five, up from our naps. Watch right here. We're ready to go. As we're moving through the day here, the sun is getting a little hotter and clothes are coming off, so it's important to reapply sunscreen liberally. Look at brother! Yeah! Squeeze it out, Oh, that's really clogged up in there. Check, please. Six hours in, that's great news. We're about halfway there, and we're gonna be cruising down this section, so we're gonna speed it up through the video, hour by hour, a little more rapidly. But we're gonna go down this straight section. The Grove on River will come in, which will speed us up, and we'll pass Jackson Hole the town. You can see it up here in the corner, but we'll be going around this bend and towards this bridge that leads down to Alpine. Tubular, dude, tubular. Dam to dam. All you guys are my semen. Don't you my water, boy. Hey, he's being careful. Hell yeah, brother! Howdy! Hey! It's a free ride! Though you've already paid. Are we gone eight hours or what? Maybe you've heard this song before. Yeah, right. Uh, hour nine. Didn't think we'd make it this far. All right, in the next couple hours, it's going to be more hills on the side of the river, and we're about to stop to organize before the white water. <laughs> Take turns rowing so everyone gets a break. Swimming can be a great way to cool off during that hot afternoon sun. Honey! Four o'clock, we started at 6 a.m. That is six plus four, that's 10 hours. 10 hours in. We have another two and a half or so, probably. It's actually pretty good. I've hit my like 14th, 15th wind after about 14, 15 naps. Um, it's a beautiful day out here in uh, the valley. Oh, Jamie farted. Should I get out? Should I do it? You're on your own. Yeah. got this. Look at that guy. Garter snake is the common name for the small to medium sized snake that is present throughout most of North America. With wide distribution, it's more common to be found near water in the west. As we prepare to enter the whitewater section of the river trip, it's always a good idea to fill up on water. We're also going to be stashing a lot of our gear in the cars, things we don't want to have to tie down in case of an accidental flipping of the raft. 
Um, just about to screen up and then hit the white water in about an hour actually. We, we're still. What going. hour are we on? We're on an hour. Uh, still hour ten. About to be twelve pretty soon. I mean, when we're done, twelve. Twelve to thirteen. Big day. Uh, didn't put enough sunscreen on, if you can't tell. But we're gonna be fine. Uh, the crew's made it so far. Uh, surprisingly, Kate and I both had an, about an hour of sleep, so it's kind of surprising that we made it. So, oh yeah, just gonna hit the blue waves. Let's get this white water, boy. Let's do it. Thank you, and see you next year. Damn to damn, 2018, baby.